All right. Thanks a lot, Lee. It's time for the Daily Pop. Going to get you caught up on some headlines from the world of pop culture. And uh, Yasmin from Power 980 is always here on Mondays. Uh, Brigitte is also taking it easy on me. You mm-hmm. know, it's okay. You're going to be all right? I got you. Oh, yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here as always. Well, my pleasure yes. always. Yes. And we're going to start with something that I'm sure everybody has been seeing on social media. The man the world knew as Bruce Jenner is revealing his new life on the cover of Vanity Fair after transitioning into a woman, just call her Caitlyn. Vanity Fair tweeted out this photo of Jenner on the cover of its July issue. In the magazine, Jenner opens up about the transition, recalling a panic attack she suffered following a facial surgery. Before becoming Caitlyn, she was Bruce, a former Olympic gold medal winner and the husband of Kris Jenner, the famous TV mom to the Kardashian clan. The magazine interviews all three of Jenner's ex-wives, including including Chris. Caitlyn Jenner created a new Twitter page today. She hit 1 million followers in just over four hours, Mm. reaching the milestone faster than the president of the United States. And speaking of the president, he actually tweeted about her saying that it takes courage to share your story. Well, good, good, good. I I tell you what, uh, she looks looks amazing. I don't know what to say. It's okay. You don't have to say it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So next story. Let's move on. <laughs> Speaking of, I can't get over Kira. Our floor director is looking at me. <laughs> okay. Speaking of the Kardashians, there will soon be one more to keep up with. Reality star Kim Kardashian revealed that she's expecting her second child with husband and rapper Kanye West. She made the announcement during Sunday's mid-season finale of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. The couple welcomed their first child, of course, North, Mm -hmm. June 15, 2013, and there is no truth to the rumor that the next child will be named South. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Do you go East then, and then you go West? You can't be named West West, can you? Come on. Maybe it ends in South. We'll see. W Square. There you go. <laughs> All right. With pain in hand and tears in his eyes, Tracy Morgan is speaking out for the first time since being involved in a deadly crash in 2014. On the Today Show, the comedian broke down speaking about his close friend and fellow comic, James McNair. McNair actually died in that crash, and several others, including Morgan, were badly hurt when a Walmart truck slammed into their van. I love comedy. I love comedy. I'll never stop loving her. I love comedy and I can't wait back to get back to her. But right now my goal is just to heal and get better. Because I'm not 100% yet. I'm not. And when I'm there, you'll know. Now we told you last week that Morgan reached a settlement with Walmart. Uh, you know, we, we, we joke around and have some fun here, but that's, uh, you know, very emotional very today. Very emotional. I understand that he said uh, as well that he, uh, his wife and kids were possibly going to be in the car at the same time, so he had that to reflect yeah. on, too. So, yeah. uh, unbelievable. All right, well, good to see him up at least uh, yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. All right, and that is it for your Daily Pop. Yasmin, always a pleasure to have Thank you here. Thank you. You always make me laugh. Wow, well, good deal. Good deal. <laughs> we're back with more news on Bounce. Stick around.